Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Thursday, November 30th, 2023. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen Martino. Well, high pressure is shifting off the coast, and that's leading to sky cloud cover and a developing southwesterly wind around 5 miles per hour. Temperatures this morning remain pretty chilly, ranging from the lower to mid-20s over the northern interior, mid to upper 20s in your suburbs, and lower to mid-30s in your urban areas. The warmest locations are on the immediate coast, where you're having temperatures in the upper 30s to lower 40s in locations like Wildwood and around eastern Long Island. For today, high pressure is shifting off the coast, as you can see on the weather tap surface map and radar. Not much is actually going to be going on today with all your precipitation well to your south and west. So basically a tranquil, comfortable day with temperatures rebounding very nicely with that southwesterly wind into the 40s and 50s. On the infrared satellite picture, you can see our next threat approaching and developing here around the southern Mississippi River Valley. This is going to continue to lift to the northeast and head towards our neck of the woods by tomorrow afternoon, introducing the threat for scattered showers. We're not really looking at any type of major storms over the next couple of days, but certainly a lot of pesky showers and unsettled conditions as we head into the weekend, all thanks to our subtropical jet stream sending moisture and short waves towards our area. When we dive into our forecast for today, look for high pressure and control with sky cloud cover with temperatures rebounding very nicely into the mid 40s over the northern interior, upper 40s to lower 50s along the coast. For tonight into tomorrow morning, that southwesterly wind will remain in place with sky cloud cover expected. Low temperatures range from the lower to mid 30s over the northern interior, upper 30s to lower 40s along the coast. For tomorrow afternoon, look for increasing cloud cover with showers developing towards the late afternoon and evening hours. High temperatures will range from the mid to upper 40s over the northern interior, upper 40s to lower 50s along the coast. Showers will continue to move through the region on tomorrow night, Friday night into Saturday morning with temperatures on Saturday morning ranging from the mid to upper 30s over the northern interior and lower to mid 40s along the coast. By Saturday afternoon, a few pesky showers, but not a washout in any way, shape, or form, just a passing shower here and there, otherwise a mix of sun and clouds, with temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 50s over the northern interior, mid 50s to lower 60s along the coast your best potential for warmest conditions will be around the philadelphia metro you could reach temperatures around 60 61 62 degrees on sunday another area of low pressure will approach and redevelop to our southwest and that's going to open up the potential for scattered showers throughout the region look for low temperatures to range from the mid to upper 40s and high temperatures to range from the upper 40s to lower 50s over the interior and mid to upper 50s along the coast on Sunday evening, an area of low pressure will start to organize itself off the mid-Atlantic coast, leading to more widespread rainfall. That low pressure system will lift up towards New England. Now, we're going to be keeping an eye on this inverted trough here, but it looks like the best potential for frozen precipitation, i.e. snow, will be towards the Green and White Mountains in New England. However, there is that threat for a wintry mix for the far northern interior, especially around northwestern Connecticut, the Hudson River Valley, the Poconos and the Catskills. So we'll keep an eye on that until we get a little bit better details on this. But again, it looks like the focus here is going to be mostly towards New England, but we might be looking at some frozen precipitation to start your Monday morning next week. Look for low temperatures to range from the mid to upper 30s over the northern interior, lower to mid 40s along the coast. By Monday afternoon, that storm starts to pull away while we'll a few lingering rain and snow showers with high temperatures ranging from the upper 30s to lower 40s over the northern interior and lower to mid 40s along the coast. On Tuesday, high pressure builds in with sky cloud cover expected. Look for low temperatures in the upper 20s to lower 30s and high temperatures ranging from the mid to upper 30s over the northern interior and along the coast, lower to mid 40s around the I-95 corridor. On Wednesday, another area low pressure will pass to our south, 
with possibly a few pesky rainstorm showers, but for the most part, we're looking at sky cloud cover, not a very well-developed low pressure system. Look for low temperatures to range from the mid to upper 20s over the northern interior, upper 20s to lower 30s along the coast, and high temperatures in the mid to upper 30s over the interior, upper 30s to lower 40s along the coast, and lower to mid 40s in the Delaware River Valley. On Thursday, high pressure will again remain in control with sky cloud cover. We're going to be watching this clipper, but a lot of the ensemble guidance really keeps this a little bit further north and west. So we're going to hold off on precipitation for right now and just look for increasing cloud cover. Look for low temperatures to range from the mid to upper 20s and high temperatures to range from the mid to upper 30s over the northern interior, mid to upper 30s along the coast, and lower to mid 40s in the Delaware River Valley. That is your forecast discussion for today. Have a wonderful day, and as always, stay safe out there.